different, uh, we can call that I1 here and then I2 on this side. So this one is going to be 9 over 18, so that's 0.5 amps. And what I could do is a little quicker. I can subtract 0.5 from 0 0.78, 0 0.28. So that's the current right here. Okay? And 0.28 amps must therefore be the same as this one. So this is 0.28 amps. And then this one must also be 0.5 amps. And 12 is one of my original resistors. So at this point, I can find the power that is, that is dissipated in that. I squared, uh, I squared times 12. And 1 half squared times 12. So it's going to be uh, 1, uh, that's going to be exact number, right? 1 half, 1 fourth, 3 watts. Now this one, I'm going to, uh, it's not one of my original resistors, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the voltage difference across it so that when I go over here, I will know what is the voltage difference across these two, right? So the voltage here is going to be uh, 6 times uh, I, right, VI, so 3 volts, okay? So this is 3 volts, and the voltage difference here then must be uh, 6 volts, right? Half times 12, that's 6 volts. So they have to add up. 6 volts and 3 volts. So uh, if this is 3 volts, I go over here and I say, well, this one is 3 volts, each one. Okay, so from there, what do I do? Well, if, this is if the 15 is 3 volts, I have now, that's one of my original ones. So uh, I can find, uh, I can find, uh, if, it, if, I, if it's not asking me for the current in that uh, resistor, I can step that, I can skip that step, and I can just go to the power, right? I can say the power here is what? Which equation would I use? Uh, v squared over R, right? So 9 over 15, that's 0. 0.6. And then the 10 is also one of my original resistors. So that's uh, power there is going to be 3 squared over 10, 9 over 10.9. So this is the power in the 15 ohm resistor. This is the power in the 10 ohm resistor. That's one of my original resistors. This is the power in the 12 ohm resistor. I'll circle this. And then am I done? Let's see here. 0.28 amps. Oh, now go to the, that one, right? If this is 0.28 amps, this one, each of these is 0.28 amps. So uh, we can find the power across the, um, power across the 18 ohm resistor is going to be 0.28 amps squared times 18. And then the power through the uh, 14 ohm resistor is going to be So tell me what you get for this and what you get for this, and we should be done at that point. Then we can check our answer. What?
1.1. So at this point, you can now check your answer, add all of the powers, simply just add them, and they should give you the uh, power given by the battery. 1.1, 1.41. With, <clears throat> there may be some rounding error that we encounter. So add there, you get one, we get five, oh, let's see, 10, 14, that's 20. Oh, that's uh, three, four, seven, 7.01 watts. Seven point oh one watts. So did I get the same answer? What was the po power total produced by the battery? Yeah, so pretty much with some little rounding error we got the answer right. You see? The powers add up no matter what the 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 shape of the circuit. Now, sometimes problems like this will also ask you something like this. They might give you a point like this. Call this point, let's say, uh, A. Call this point B. And they might ask you, what's the potential difference across points A and B? In other words, if you put a voltmeter between points A and B, what's going to be the reading of the voltmeter? Which point is going to be at a higher potential, B or A? Okay, 